In the news this week, MPs speak out against flawed plans to make it much easier to legally change sex, another poll finds a majority of Scots oppose a smacking ban, and the BBC wants to go even further in promoting LGBT lifestyles. Hello. A number of MPs have criticised the parliamentary inquiry into making it easier for people to legally change sex, saying the government's consultation should be put on hold. They said the consultation on reforming the Gender Recognition Act should be extended to allow Parliament to properly discuss how the proposals will affect women's rights. The Conservative Party's former Vice Chair for Women, Maria Caulfield, said the consultation was fundamentally flawed. I don't want to make legislation if we feel that there's a group of society who feels that is detrimental to them. I think it's a fair comment that women's groups do not feel that they've had their voice heard. A Comrades poll found that more than half of MPs do not feel they can speak freely on transgender issues, while nearly 6 in 10 think the sudden rise in children identifying as transgender is worrying and has not been properly explained or discussed. Equalities Minister Penny Mordaunt has called for an inquiry into the rise. A poll of more than 1,000 Scottish adults has revealed that less than a third of voters support plans to criminalise parents who smack their children. The Scottish Government is supporting a bill by John Finney MSP which would outlaw smacking, but 53% of those polled said the law should stay the same. Be Reasonable Scotland, a campaign group opposed to the plan, welcomed the result. The Scottish Government are so out of touch on this. The clear evidence is that the vast majority of Scots do not back a ban. Those people need to communicate this to their MSPs before it's too late. A 2017 poll found two-thirds of Scottish adults think it is sometimes necessary to smack a naughty child. Canada has become the second country in the world to legalise recreational cannabis. Retailers have begun selling it over the counter and critics are calling the change an uncontrolled experiment. It comes just days after NHS figures revealed that in the past five years, 125,000 people in the UK have been admitted to hospital after taking cannabis. This includes around 15,000 teenagers and some under the age of 10. MP Craig McKinley warned far too few people are aware of the severe mental health problems cannabis can cause, particularly on younger developing brains. Caving in to populist demands to legalise a harmful drug is not the way to deal with preventing its normalisation and use. And finally, the BBC has decided to further promote LGBT culture on screen and within the organisation. People's LGBT identities will be publicised more often regardless of the relevance to a storyline or news item. Off screen, the broadcaster is encouraging all staff to use non-binary pronouns when speaking to or about colleagues who identify as neither male nor female. Heterosexual staff who actively promote LGBT issues will wear badges to show that they are straight allies, while others may be offered unconscious bias training so that they do not accidentally offend people. Institute Deputy Director Simon Calvert challenged the plans. There's already a lot of pro-LGBT content in the BBC's output. I think a lot of people are going to be wondering how much further they can really take that. And if the BBC are are focusing only on young people, well, for a start, there is a division of opinion amongst young people about these issues. But what about the rest of the age demographics? What about the the rest of the licence fee payers? Surely the BBC should have some consideration for, for their views as well. That's all for this week. For more, go to our website at christian.org.uk. As we leave you, here's another chance to be encouraged with some words from Daniel and Amy MacArthur. The thing that has really brought me through is God's Word. Um, by reading it and believing uh, what God says when he says that he is working all things together for good and that his ways are perfect. This all started over four years ago and we find ourselves here at the very end of it and it's only by God's goodness and grace that we are here and we give all the glory to him.